This video is part two of date and time in Python. So if you haven't watched that first part, you might want to go back and watch that first. In this video, we're going to do some calculations using date and time and display some things other than just the date and the time based on those calculations. So we're going to start off, we've got to import our library. So we're going to go from date time. We're going to import date time. And we're going to set up a variable. We'll call it date time one. And we're going to have a date time. And inside of this, we're going to set up the year. And we're going to say it's 1990. The month is going to be January. And the day will be the first. So in our second date, DT2, this is going to equal date time. And we're going to set the year to equal 1991. We're going to set the month to equal 2. And the day to equal 1. So we have two dates here, a year and one month apart from each other. So we're going to print out, actually let's do some calculations first. Let's go delta, which is change. And we're going to do dt2 minus dt1. So we're going to set this delta2 variable to equal whatever the date is in dt2, which we know is February 1st, 1991. And we're going to subtract dt1, which we know is January 1st, 1990. And let's print delta two so we can see that they're th 396 days apart from each other so let's add a seconds variable and let's set that variable to equal delta two total total seconds. And so that should give us the total seconds between these two dates. So we'll print seconds. We'll run that. And we can see it's displayed how many seconds there are between these two dates. So instead of hard coding a date here to use in our calculations, we could set this DT2 to equal today's date so that we can see how long ago this first date was. The way we would do that is just take this hard code date out. So the date time would be today. And when we run that, we see how many days ago this particular date was. And it also gives us the minutes, hours, minutes, seconds of that as well. So we're going to get rid of this code. So let's try one more example here. This time instead of going back to see how far back a date was, uh, let's set it up so that we can see what date would be so many days in advance from today. 
So if I, for instance, if we say what's 200 days from today. So the first thing we'll do is we'll set up 200 days. And that's just a variable, just I named it 200 days so we know that that's what we're looking for here. And then we're going to set that as, actually before we do that, we need to import, we got date time here, we're going to import time delta, so time change. And then we're going to use that time delta, and we're going to set our days to equal 200. So this is the amount of days from today we're looking for. We need to set up our current date. And we're going to set date time is today. So now the current date variable equals today's date. And our new date is going to be whatever it is 200 days from today. So that should equal whatever the current date is plus 200 days. And we're going to print and let's do some concatenation here and let's say after 200 days from today will be and that's going to be our new date string f time which we used in that previous video and we need to format this a little bit so let's say and we'll print that out and we can say after 200 days from today will be June 27th, 2023. And again, if you go back and look at that first video, you can see we can change these letters up to be whatever format we want them to be. So if we want that to be consistent, we can change that to M, and we see 62723.